Hi, I'm Anna Milbourne. Um, I've been at Osborne for years and years. I'm part of the furniture. If you've got a minute, I'd love to talk to you about my new book, I'm Almost Never Bored. It's illustrated by Orsa Gilland. Um, this book is about a little girl who's a busy, busy bee. She has a life full of structured activities with ukulele lessons and dance class and she enjoys a lot of screen time. But when her dad says that's enough screen time for now, her response is, I'm bored. This will be quite familiar to a lot of parents, I imagine. Um, and there's an awful pressure when your child says they're bored for you to do something about it, to come up with something entertaining or hopefully surreptitiously educational. But here's the news, you don't have to. This dad gives the right response, which is, that's great. Being bored comes right before having a really good idea. By allowing her to sit with her boredom for a moment, he enables her to slow down, to hear her inner voice, and it doesn't take long before she comes up with a really good idea. She sees a box that he's finished unpacking, gets out her pens and turns it into a magic train. And immediately you dive into an imaginary world that she has invented. There are these amazing holes in the pages which, um, which take the reader from the real world into the little girl's imagination. So you dive out of the box and into a world full of bouncy jellies and shark infested waters. So in this book a scribble can become a spaghetti monster that you have to feed by scribbling more food onto the page. A tiny ant can lead you into a miniature world where you join a funny bug circus. Watching a washing machine go round and round can take you into diving into outer space. At the end of the book a little boy from next door asks to play with the little girl because she looks like she's having so much fun and he's bored and guess what she says? Oh I'm almost never bored because being bored comes right before having a really good idea. Hopefully this book is packed full of ideas both for parents and for children and little springing off points to enable children to be comfortable with having the time and space to direct their own play and to come up with their own really good ideas.